please welcome back David, Ovi, Kemi, Bella, and Sam. Woo! Welcome back. Welcome back, former house guests. Now, the five of you all left the game early on and got to see everything from the comfort of your own home. And I know you have a lot to say. Before we count the votes, let's talk about the season. Now, everyone who's lived in the Big Brother house knows that you are watched 24-7. And sometimes things that happen in the house can become very controversial. Let's start with some of the contro controversy. Let's start with the Alliance of Eight, known as Grateful. On night number 24, Ovi, you watched as Nicole was literally shut out of the HOH bedroom by Grateful. Some viewers watching saw that as an act of bullying. How would you describe that moment, Ovi? Yeah, uh, I'm thankful that you asked me that, Julie. Um, in regards to that scenario, it was really hard and disheartening to go through that because we all signed up for this game and we know what we signed up for, but we made an agreement that the actions that we would take in the house would be based on game, but the relationships that we would make would be real. But the actions took in that room, in that HOH room on that day, were not about game, but they were bullying. And we need to call it out when we see it because we cannot be bystanders when we see the mistreatment of others, especially when it's somebody like Nicole, a close friend of mine, I felt the need to stand up. So I hope when the house gets watched that back, they understand that the actions they took in that room they did not align with the agreement that we said we would hold the moral characters. Nicole, I see you nodding. Do you remember that moment and how yes. you felt? Very well, very well. How did you feel? I was very frustrated, you know. I'm a very big advocate for be an upstander, don't be a bystander, and a lot of people in that room were bystanders, and they were part of it. And I wasn't even allowed in the room to advocate for myself or defend myself or, or shut it down. You know, they just locked me out and continued to have their little fun fest. And I'm a very firm believer in forgiveness and moving forward, and that's what I've done in this game, and that's what I'll do in my life. I mean, I haven't seen the footage, but I plan to forgive and move forward, because that's what my mama taught me. Thank you. Kemi, Kemi, let me turn to you. What was it like for you watching from home what transpired in the house this summer? Yeah, I mean, it was extremely disappointing. Um, Jack, Jackson, Christy, and Nick, I'm not exactly sure what your obsession is with me, but I hope that when you get to watch footage back from the season, you understand why it was received the way that it was. Um, a lot of the things that were said to and about me and several of the other house guests are completely inexcusable and unforgivable. And I hope that you can leave this experience better people than you came in as. Let me give them a chance to respond. Jack, I'm going to start with you. Kemi, the comments that I made and that I was confronted with when I first was evicted from the home um, were, came from a place of ignorance. And um, I'll never be able to apologize to you enough. Um, you are a beautiful person and you're a great person. Um, what happened in there was in no reflection of any type of person that I want to be. And it's not fair to you. Um, I'll never, once again, I'll reiterate it again, I'll never be able to apologize to you enough, but I hope that someday maybe you can forgive me. Christy? Kemi, I, so I specifically don't know what was said, but I just want you to know that when I do go back and watch, if there is anything that I regret saying, which I'm sure in the heat of the moment and hormones, there were things that I said. Um, I actually really respect you as a person and you will get a personal phone call from me apologizing. Um, anything that I do remember saying was based on like an isolated issue that we could totally talk about, but I have nothing but respect for you and in the heat of the game, you become someone that you're not like always proud of. So I apologize to you. N Jack Jackson, Mickey. Um, I'm not sure what is in reference here um, but I do know that the only issues I ever had with Kimmy on a personal level was when something was said about Jack and I cooking that she sees through like the good old boy kind of thing that we were told but on a personal level I had no issues with Kimmy I, I loved you to death I always thought it was funny how you whispered and things like that I have no idea what um, is in reference again and I know when I watch it back that um, it will be made clear but I if at any point offended you on a personal level I'm very sorry um, I did everything I could to sort of adapt to an environment that I felt I needed to in order to get to this point in the game. And um, adapting is no excuse in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I do like you as a person, and I'm sorry if I ever offended you or upset you genuinely. And just, do you accept the apologies you heard right here, Kemi? 
Um, I think it's important to understand what you're apologizing for before you apologize. Okay, we'll stick a pin in it for now. Mickey, I do want to ask you, on day one, you were voted camp director, and you had to banish four house guests. Right. You chose David, Kemi, Jessica, and Cliff. You said you chose Kemi because she was the only person who didn't campaign to be saved. You also said you chose David, Jessica, and Cliff because they were campaigning for the same job. But some viewers thought you did it because Jessica, David, and Kemi are minorities and that you chose Cliff because he is the oldest house guest. Oh. What would you like to say um, to your critics? Absolutely not. Um, I'm not racist, and this was a decision. The only time Kimmy ever talked to me was when I was showering. She was brushing her teeth, and this is all based on first impressions. The three people that raised their hands exemplified strength and courage and maturity and what looks like a sense of responsibility for the house. And if they had the ability to raise their hands and stand up, I figured if I should do the same, that I could potentially have my game threatened by these individuals. It had nothing to do with race or age or gender or minority ever. Everything I did in this game did not see that. This was strictly players against players. I even advocated for everything staying game in my first HOH. Race, age, religion, gender, none of that ever had anything to do with any let decision me, I made. Let me give David a chance quickly to respond. Um, you know, I understand the gameplay move. I did volunteer to be camp director. Um, and even I had two weeks to think about it. Like, was it minority thing or was it? Gameplay, Never and I came to the conclusion mind. that it was gameplay, just based on the evidence that I saw. But since I've been watching the show and watching behind the scenes, said behind doors, you, you Jack included, um, there seemed to be in some implied biases. Obi's pointed it out, Kimmy's pointed it out, and you guys will be able to see it and have a chance to talk about it, have a conversation in the future. But I hope you guys are able to become Thank better people as a result of the uh, actions you took. Thank in the you, house. David. Let David, me. Uh, I, I okay. have to get to the jury man, to the show man. I have to get to Nick. Nick. <laughs> You told Bella, I'm going to learn Mandarin for you. I love you. And then in the jury, we see a jury mance with Kat. What do you have to say to Bella? Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I take responsibility for my actions. Um, being in the house with Isabella was amazing. And I don't take anything back that I had said. Um, I just suppose that when I got out of the house and uh, got into the jury house, my mind just went in the direction where I felt that I had feelings for Kat. And I guess I just pursued them. It wasn't anything against Isabella. I wish that nothing got shown. I wanted to talk to her first yeah, and not let her see it. But um, Let me give Bella a chance. Just, absolutely. Bella, what would you like to say? Nick? Yes. Final moments. When you made a commitment to me, you know, I said, just please don't make me look stupid. And you made me look stupid. So I was really, really hurt by that. And you know what? No one deserves to feel that way. Thank you all. When we return, it is the moment of truth. Mickey or Holly, who will win Big Brother? Find out next. Stay with us.